something a little bit special now. Three nights on, tapes are up, away we go. And he's going to go searching for the grip round the outside. Martin Baselik's there. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That was sensational from Beltos Marslik. He just committed to the run round the outside, trusted that Martin Baselik wasn't going to slam him up against the fence. And already he's cleared off out in front. Fabulous speedway from Bartos Smarslik. Oh, great speedway from Smarslik. Of course, these two know each other well here from Gorjov, but uh, brilliant opening lap from Smarslik. He only had one thing on his mind when he dropped the clutch. As soon as he dropped the clutch, he wanted to stay with the pack on the way to the corner and just head straight for the dirt. He's been watching the open couple of races. He knows exactly where the track's working. Bartos Smarslik cleared off out in front. Martin Vasilik, very fair there. Could have slammed the door shut but uh, didn't do so. And Martin Vasilik is back in second place. This man, though, he's a country mile away, just pretty much picking up where he left off two weeks ago in Melilla. Stunning ride from the world champion in heat number three. More than five, definitely. Here we go, tapes up. Great start there on the inside well, by Faefer, but an even better one from Leon Madsen. Look at that, he's come roaring round the outside, hits the front, here comes Martin Vasilik. Down the back straight on the opening lap, he's in the dirt. Here comes Martin Vasilik. Oh, do you like that? Do we ever? That was fabulous stuff from Martin Vasilik. Max Frick has now come through into third place, but Martin Vasilik strutting his stuff here in heat number six. Martin Vasilik showing his liking and experience of the Gorjov track. As you said, Kelvin, been here many years and enjoyed a lot of success, of course, and in Grand Prix as well. Stunning opening lap from him. Leon Madsen chasing, but just losing a little bit of ground. Max Frick's made a little bit up, uh, but uh, not enough. Uh, Frick is actually oh, at the back. The back. It's, my, it? yeah. it's my, my mistake, actually. I've, uh, there, you're right. I have misled you there. Apologies for that. Max Frick is at the back. It's Oscar Pfeiffer. The wild card is hanging on in third place. But out in front, no mistakes there for Martin Vasilik. Stadium there, actually. Here we go. E number 13 tapes up. Charging into the first corner. Smarzik's there once again. Faith for the wild card right up high on the bank, and here he comes. But the door is slammed oh, shut. Oh, what a move. Not for long. Oh. Smarzlik's read it beautifully. He's going to hug the inside, but Faith for and Smarzlik. Oh, brilliant stuff for Oscar Faith for. How about that? Didn't see that coming. Smarzlik's got some work to do now. And we've said it all night long how gate three just seems to be positioning the riders to make an attack down the back straight. He'd done awfully well there. I've got to say, Smarzlik read it very quickly and turned back to the inside as they came into turns three and four. Oh, look at it now. He doesn't want to be beaten, particularly by a Polish rider, I feel, around Gorzhov. So he's now going to give it absolutely everything. Here we go then. Bartosz Smarzlik into the oh. last lap. And Pfeiffer literally slams the door shut. They're up on the banking. Pfeiffer hanging on there, a little bit untidy. One last blast around the final corner. Smarzlik's up in the gods here. Charges to the last. Oh, he's he's done it. Very competitive speedway here, as always. Tapes are up. Wozniak's made a lovely start off the inside. He fires himself to the front. Following him through is Jack Holder. All of a sudden, the outside line, not the same as it was earlier, because the inside line worked beautifully there. And Simon Wozniak, we were just building up to the race, said he needs a win, and that's exactly where he is. He's out in front, searching for his first win of the night, but he's been chased hard by, by Jack Holder. Well, this result will do both Jack Holder and Simon Wozniak. They would go through on nine points, I'm certain of that. Looks like Holder now has got a rule. Oh. Oh, that got awfully close. Goodness. Wozniak wasn't going to concede that one as he chopped his nose off coming into turn one on the second lap. But uh, Holder giving chase, this will do them both. Indeed it will. Martin Vasilik back in third place, not on the pace. We're into the last lap. And Simon Wozniak, this is a breakthrough moment. He's had five Grand Prix, he hasn't made a semi-final yet. But here in Gorzhov, in front of his home crowd, he's going to do it. What a night for him. Here in the Edward Yancez Stadium, tapes up. Smarzlik's made a lovely start, he hits the front. 
Madsen's gone very, very wide in the first corner. Will it work out? Not quite, because Holders then blocked his move. Smarslick potentially. Right place, right time. He's gone wide there. Madsen now coming up the inside of Holder. Leon Madsen, will he get there? Looks like he is just no, a man in the back. second place. Holder leaning all over him down the back. Oh, he's gone down. No. Oh, oh, big crash. That, that would be a turn up for the books. Here we go. Tapes are up. Madsen's made a lovely start off the outside. He could well fire himself to yeah, the front down the back straight. To... Here we up go, Smarsling. Oh, the to the inside. oh, superb stuff from Leon Madsen. Read that superbly well. Hook and Beck is in third place. Smarsling having a sneaky look over his shoulder. But Leon Madsen, he is back to his best tonight. Brilliant first lap. Yeah, Leon Madsen really was impressive down the back straight. Great decision making and uh, Smarslik, last two heats this race, doesn't seem to be getting the bike hooked up quite as well. Of course, he's chasing, he's not far back, but at the moment, it looks like it's Madsen and Smarslik for the final. Huckenbeck just beginning to tail off in third place. Leon Madsen looking good out in front, he's being chased awfully hard by the championship leader. Smarslik and Lexing to go very, very wide, but the speed of Madsen, he's got it all covered. Madsen through the final corner in semi-final one, and he's in the final. Really can't underestimate, uh, and underestimate Martin Vasilik on the inside, but Wozniak's made a lovely start out of gate number two. He gets himself to the front, and uh, coming out of the first oh, turn, Mickelson. Wow, what a move from Mickelson. Oh, Freddie yeah, Lindgren <laughs> dive bombing in at turn number three. Martin Vasilik trying to replay the compliment, can't do it. And it's the riders from gates three and four firing himself to the front. But did they do it in spectacular style? Yes, they did. They certainly did. I tell you what, Freddie Lindgren was brave there as he roared up the inside <laughs> of both Wozniak and Vasilik. But uh, once again, Mickelson looking comfortably out front, quite prepared to kiss the dirt on the outside there. Lindgren's got speed, though. He uh, knows he only needs a second place, but uh, he coming. wants to put that bit of gap between him and third place, Martin Fashioli. Freddie's having a real go here. Mikkel Mickelson right out by the fence. That's Great. a good turn. Great. Great turn for Mickelson, a brave one, but he needed to do it. That's going to seal his win here in semi-final two. win for the second time this year. Or will we see Mickelson win for the second time? Here we go. Tapes up. Madsen's made a lovely oh, start with no. Smarslick's there. Here comes Mickelson. Madsen's Off the first him. corner. Madsen's got a problem. Freddie Lindgren now coming in a second place. Desperately disappointing for Leon Madsen. But Bartos Smarslick out in front and hunting him down is fast Freddie Lindgren. Tell you what, Freddie Lindgren, he's got pace. He's a little bit quicker than Smarsnik. Derline's a long way round. He's got to go a long way, but if he times cut back perfectly, he will run in, he will charge in. We know oh. that. It's not quite there yet. It's all action out in front. Here, he Here comes Freddie. Here he comes. Freddie now up the inside. Smarsnik working overtime out in front. Now Freddie's around the outside. Smarsnik's vulnerable. Done it. Done he's it. coming on the clash. Lindgren hits the front. Oh, what a final we're witnessing here! And fast, Freddie Lindgren has done it down the back straight through the final corner. What a ride from Lindgren. And Lindgren wins here in Gorjov. What a ride that is! 38 years of age, riding like a teenager there. That was a sensational final. And uh, what a moment that is. And look at that smile. That is proper smile because... It's a proper grin, isn't it? It is, because he's uh, normally a very stoic yeah. guy. You